So today we're doing three exercises that correct posture. They're going to fix for bad shoulder mobility and bad back mobility. So it's going to help posture wise, it's going to help you sitting at a desk. It's going to correct for your posture, it's going to correct for slouching, and it's going to correct for what I like to, what I see a lot now. These magazines telling people to stand up really tall and use posture this way, but what they're doing is they're overextending their back and they're getting this giant C curve or this overlordotic curve. We're going to fix that too. So, poor posture here. Everybody thinks let's fix our posture by standing up tall. What's happening is I'm seeing a lot in strength training and working out and in, in different facilities. People are pulling their shoulders back by using their back extenders, all right? I don't want that. I don't want this posture. This is an over curve of the back and it causes the back and the neck to tighten. Instead of curving the back and bending, we have to have good posture by bracing the core and keeping our hips in line. So what I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna give myself bad posture and bring my shoulder forward and I'm not gonna pull my shoulders back by using my mid spine. Instead, I'm going to try to get mobility from my shoulder blades. So my back isn't moving, all right? I'm not doing this. I'm keeping good posture up tall, pulling my abs in, back is straight, and I'm sliding the shoulder blades back. That's what we're going to work on today. The first one we're going to do is get the shoulder blades moving and strengthen up the core. So two corrective or activation exercises I have my clients do every day. A reach roll lift drill, what we're going to do is lay back and down, hinge at the hip, take some stress off the core, and bring the arms out straight in front, and I'm gonna alternate my hands. I'm gonna walk them out. So I'm walking along the mat, reaching out as far as I can, full extension on the elbow. My other arm is basing. Once I reach, the second part of the exercise is the roll. Rotate, external rotation, as much as you can. Base on the opposite hand, and then I'm gonna press up to the ceiling, extend my shoulder, two second hold, down, slide back, and reset. So chin's neutral, spine is neutral, reach, crawl, extend, roll, lift, down, reset. Immediately after I'm done with the shoulder mobility, if I'm working it in a sequence or if I use this as an exercise together, I'm gonna go to a pillar bridge and I'm gonna look to brace my core, push my elbows down. So plank is a hot topic, people like to do pillar bridges or planks, but you really have to keep the shoulders and the core working together. So instead of extending my back when I'm down there in the bridge, I'm gonna tuck my rib cage down into my hip bone and my hip bone up into my rib cage, making this area small and compact. Almost like I'm trying to do a crunch, but I'm not going anywhere. So I'm gonna base my forearms on the floor, on the mat, I like to base palm up, thumb rotated out, so I start to use my shoulders. Legs are together, flexing my abdominals, and keeping nice, neutral, straight spine. And you can work from 30 seconds if you're a beginner, a minute to an advanced. I don't want the hips to start sagging, because at this point, I'm working my back extenders. That's not what I want. Tuck, flex my abs, glutes are tight and kicked on, and I'm actively pushing through the floor. Again, we're gonna to look to increase range of motion in the shoulder blades. Stop reaching, pulling, and pressing with my mid back, all right? I don't wanna pull or press like we did with the pillar bridge. That's the same for a push-up. Wanna keep the back straight and get range of motion from my chest and shoulder blades. We're gonna do the same thing on a pull-up drill. Now, a lot of times I see pull-up drills when I grip, what side here? People wanna collapse back, heels behind their butt, and pull themselves up this way. Really, ext again, extending or creating too much of a C curve. We're gonna look to bring the legs forward, and again, pretend like we're holding a bridge against the wall, reach the arms up overhead. It's called a hollow back position, but what we're really trying to do is keep the core stable and only get mobility from my shoulder blades. So I'm gonna reach overhead, bring the legs forward to kick my core on like I'm holding a plank, inhale, and then I'm gonna pull. Overhead. Right back down. So you can get your hang, get the swing on me, reset. Core stays tight, legs are in front. Deep breath in, neutral spine, row. And then right back down. If that's difficult to do, if you're not uh, up to the pull up position yet, you can actually just hang in that posture and work on bracing your core and getting your arms up overhead, not using your back to reach. So a dead hang pattern, grip, Grip, legs in front, neutral spine, flex your abdominals like you're holding a bridge, and just time yourself. Again, just like the pillar bridge, 30 seconds to start. As you get better, 
make your way toward a minute. On the last one, we've got some range of motion in the shoulder blades. Now we got our core working together with our shoulders, so we're using our entire core, shoulders down at the hips, not just the abs. We're gonna pretend we're holding a plank on the wall. Same thing, this is kind of my startup position. Core is tight, shoulders are back. All right, and what I'm gonna do is reach my arm overhead. That's gonna be my starting point. And with a medicine ball, a small med ball, I'll show you the movement pattern. We're just gonna try to move the arm off the wall and then tap it back down. Reach behind and back down. So, bring that medicine ball straight up. Little squat stance is good and we're gonna look to move behind the neck and into the wall. Deep breath in, tap. The movement is coming from the shoulder blades. My scapula is moving, not my back. I'm not doing this. I'm also not using my arms. So I'm extended fully out like my reach roll lift drill and tap. Tap, keep the core solid, keep the hips solid and only movement comes through the shoulder blades. And rest. You can do two to three sets of that and I like to time myself on that one. So I go about 20 to 30 seconds depending on how advanced you are in that movement or how much mobility you guys have in bringing the arms up over your head. Hey guys, this is Rob Laviento from Long Island Strength Performance and Head Strength Coach down at Long Island MMA. Thanks for watching. Keep some comments going. I'd love to help you guys out. Any questions you have, let us know. We're trying to put out new content, new videos, new intros every day.